Lefty, Lucy, and Righty. Heidi, have you ever heard that before? No? Do you say anything like that in your countries to remember which way to tighten and to open things? Yeah. You do? Oh, that's like Righty, Tidy, Lefty, Lucy in Arabic. Okay, cool. The space is called BICUS. It stands for Bicycle Intercommunity Art and Salvage. BICUS is a bicycle education center that's been around for 20 years now. This is the second refugee workshop that we've had this year. It's like a bike school. So it's not a bike store, but we do sell some things. But mostly it's a place for you to come and to learn about how to fix your bicycles. Tucson has a large refugee resettlement population. It's a population that we've wanted to work with for a long time because we recognize that refugees have a lot of transportation issues and challenges and we wanted to help the organizations that help them resettle address those issues. Often the volunteers help them acquire the bicycles and then they bring them down and we help them get them tuned up into a, a safe place where they can go out and ride them. Del, there's another bicycle there. Can you bring that one? They've brought friends down here. News of Bikus has spread through word of mouth through the communities and they come down here and have fun and they help us clean and they help us. We put them to work doing all kinds of different things and then they, they earn a bicycle and so far it's been a really positive experience. This is where you come to learn about bicycles, to practice working on bicycles, but you're always over here with a teacher. Down here at Bikus, we see refugees come in every day. A lot, mostly from Nepal and Bhutan, a lot of Nepalese speakers. We always have a couple of Iraqi refugees, Arabic speakers, and then today we have a Swahili speaker from Tanzania. Um, that's a first. Hello. How do you say hello in Swahili? Jambo. Jambo! Jambo! I'm a return Peace Corps volunteer. Found out right away that there was a large refugee sure. resettlement population because a lot of return Peace Corps volunteers work with them. So then when I started working here at BICUS, that really came in handy because I had a lot of contacts, people who spoke different languages and who were working with refugees. And it was just a really good combination of skills and contacts and it was a good fit. So If you don't have $4 to pay for, $4 an hour to pay for the the use of the tools. We have a program here called Work Trade. You can come down and you can say to Kristen or somebody else in a red apron, hello, I am Del from Tanzania and I would like to do Work Trade. The bicycle uh, connotes something completely different all over the world. In some countries the bicycle is a means of suggesting that you are of a higher political stratosphere in your country, whereas in other countries a bicycle connotes that you are part of the lower class. Um, and so it really depends on where the refugees come from. Now, one very important thing here in Arizona, we have cactus and we have a lot of glass. And so the easiest way of making sure that you do not get flat tires, if you ride your bicycle every day, pump them up once a week. <laughs> now we must find the hole. Put it in by directions. Like this. How do I say good in Swahili? Bomba. What's in, in Nepali again? Tiksa? Tiksa? And in Arabic? Dehamed? Dehamed? Bomba, tiksa. A bicycle would help you very much to get around town and to catch the bus and other things. This is basically a place where we put bicycles that are in waiting, that are waiting for someone like you to come down here and to help fix it up. Bikers can help you with that. Good. Okay.